Good morning to all you aesthetic athletes. Today is going to be a commentary. Today is going to be chest and shoulder day. Uh, we did do abs as well. Did not record that. Abs are very easy to develop. Really, the only way you're going to see your abs is if you lose body fat. So let's get started here. We are doing incline uh, dumbbell press. Uh, starting it off, we did 35 pounds, just a light warm-up set. Moved it up to 60, then 90s, then 50s for two sets. Doing a drop set after each set during the 50s of push-ups. So the focus here is to keep the chest out, shoulders back, press in with your palms. Uh, ideally, you want to make sure you're actually feeling it in your upper chest. I mean, that's the reason why you're doing incline. And it's good to start off with an exercise that you believe you need to develop more. So let's say if your lower pec is developed a little bit more than your upper pec, maybe you should start with upper pec exercises because you'll be utilizing majority of your energy during that exercise. So you can see here I'm doing 90s. Now with 90s, uh, I haven't gone heavy in a while, so this felt heavy for me. I think I did roughly about eight reps. I think if I was lucky, I got 10. But form is always the main thing when you're gonna be doing any weight, whether you're doing heavy, whether you're doing light. If you're not doing proper form, you're not actually gonna be utilizing the exercise properly, which in short is not gonna be actually even targeting the muscle. It's gonna be putting a lot of pressure on your joints and in the long run really just not help you out <laughs> at all. So yeah, you can see here doing 50 pound dumbbells uh, with the 50 pound dumbbells right after push-ups. Now these push-ups are till failure, right? If you want to improve, you want to get better, you have to go push yourself to your limit. So if you're not pushing yourself to your limit, your limit is never going to grow. You're never going to be able to lift heavier weight or you're never going to be um, expanding that muscle group or whatever it may be. Next exercise though, with that said, we're going to be going down now from the upper pec to the mid section of our pecs. Uh, this guy is going to be targeting the inner pec as well if you're going to be squeezing at the top. Uh, we started off with a 45 pound plate then added a 25 pound plate so that'll be 45 and a 25 on each side right after push-ups three sets so it's pyramid style again again you can see depending on where you grip will depend on how you're targeting your pecs so you can see here I did a little bit of a lower uh, grip um, kind of to get more of the inner pec it's hard to explain but you guys would be able to feel it if you're placing your hand grips in different areas after that we moved it on to cable flies now what I personally like to do with the cable flies is first stand straight up, bringing the cables down, target the very bottom, if you guys can kind of see here, target the very bottom of your chest. You guys will see me, so, yeah, just like that. Uh, you can see myself here trying to bring it just literally straight down, slightly angle the chest, um, not too, too much, because what I'll do is I'll do 10 down, go out and do 10 more. You can see right here, but with the 10, the next 10, it's going to be more of a pressing movement than a fly movement. Uh, this is just to pump as much blood into the muscles as possible. That's why it's higher reps, not trying to develop muscle here. Um, with flies, yes, you could develop muscle, but ideally I use it towards the end to kind of finish off the chest. Um, after this, we went on to shoulders. So started off with rear delts, moved it on to the side delts, then the front delts. So with the rear delts, the focus here is to isolate them. So we're doing kind of reverse pec flies. A kind of we are doing reverse pec flies uh, you can see that's definitely a muscle that I I need to develop so I'm starting off with rear delts usually when I do shoulders I always start with rear delts um, to utilize it and use my energy more on that exercise so you can see here move it on to the side delts now with the side delts you want to make sure that you're pointing your pickies up if you want to utilize a little bit more of your rear delts as well during the exercise. Yeah, I know I'm sweating a little bit, it's a little hot in here. But what I tend to do, or what I do during my exercises, is I do three sets. Now these three sets are literally a drop set till about 10 pounds. So I go from 25, let's say we start at 25, then I would drop the weight down five pounds and do that every single set. So that, that's about like five drop sets per set. So I really, really break down those uh, muscle tissues when I'm wor working shoulders. I feel like my shoulders never really get sore. Um, so I'm able to work them a little bit more than I would with other muscle groups like the biceps or chest or back. Um, after that we moved it on to the front delts. Here we are doing machines. Uh, this is going to isolate them a bit more, not really use the stabilizer muscles as much so I can focus more on just pressing the movement up. Um, you can see here I'm trying not to lock out at the top or even stop at the bottom. I'm trying to keep the muscle under tension the entire time. 
keeping the rep range 12 to 15 for three sets. But other than that guys, that is the video. That is the commentary. I hope it didn't talk too, too much. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if there's anything else you guys want to know, anything about the workout, exactly what I did, please leave it in the comment below. Um, if you guys want to see more of this, again, <laughs> let me know guys. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, the least you could do is leave a like below. Helps me reach out to more people just like you. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's time. It is not time. I keep doing that, guys. Um, I want you guys to get aesthetic bra.